a very good evening one and all myself dr divya srina welcome you all to at another session of anubhava series as anubhava is a free webinar series which is organized by ayurveda map and this session is sponsored by dr p alikutis kotakel ayurveda pharmacy so dr p alikutis kotakel ayurveda pharmacy has been a part of its mother concern dr p alikutis kotakel ayurveda as well as modern hospital and this hospital is established since 1965 kp manufactures around 400 classical products as well as 40 proprietary medicines in their own gmp iso 9001 and 2015 certified production unit kp develops our asian formulations into proprietary medicines after a series of tests they have a well developed r&d department as well as modernized medical laboratory if you want to know more about kp then you can contact dr jasul so ayurveda map it is uh, started its activities from 2016 and this it was officially inaugurated by dr pm varias sir in the year 2017 initially ayurveda map concentrated more on in hand practical sessions for ayurveda doctors they had started marmayu this session was served on the applications of marma therapy in clinical practice then a bandaging session and followed by a sessions on ayurvedic cosmetic therapies like a series known as varnam series later an aknaya session this was a workshop on agni karma later a session vistara vistara which it will has support the ayurveda doctors to start uh, the new ventures uh, we received a very good response from ayurveda doctors around kerala later as we all know due to this covid pandemic situation we had to switch on our session to online session so initially we started with varnia varnia session is a practical session which, which is done on online on cosmetic therapies for ayurveda doctors later we started a session on ayurvedic dermatology known as brajaga and later we had had a session on thyroid disorders known as gala and we had a session on prayana later we had a session on kriti which was a session on ayurvedic product making then we had a session on therapeutic yoga known as dhyana later we had a session on eye disorders which is common eye disorders we get in our opd known as nayana then again we had a product making session known as viva which was guided by dr hasna later we had a gynecological session a series known as pushya then we had a session on cupping therapy known as shipra later we had a session that which is a continuation of pushya known as reksha which introduced the garbha samskaras antenatal as well as postnatal care to the ayurveda doctors and later we had a one more session on this product making and then we had a session on shara which helped the doctors to uh, help with the preparation as well as the application of shara therapy in practice again we made an another big step known as swadhyaya with support the ayurvedic bms students as well as pg students in their academic practice in their academics during this pandemic situation we provide recorded classes as well as detailed notes in one to one subjects as well as we provide one to one doubt clearing sessions we had question paper discussions as well as research article discussions for pg students the session was we received a good response from bms as well as pg students next here we are going to make a big announcement uh, for upcoming session known as supraja the session is uh, on female as well as male infertility the details of the session will be coming in 2 3 days which will be circulated by the ayurveda map and in our opd definitely we will get cases regarding varicose vein and all so if we get a proper guidance from a uh, experienced doctor definitely it will support our practice so today we have dr saifuddin gurukal doctor is currently working as an assistant professor in the department of shalya tantra it's a pg department in the alwas ayurveda medical college i wholeheartedly welcome doctor to our session on behalf of ayurveda ma'am as well as 
on behalf of Dr. P. Alikuti Scottakel Ayurveda Pharmacy. Welcome you, sir. Hello. Hi, sir. Good morning. Um, good afternoon, sir. So, can you please share your screen? Oh, one second, one second. Is it visible? Yes, sir. Because of the heavy rain, the already our uh, room is not there. Uh, net is properly working, so we changed the room. That's why it was late. Okay, so your voice is clear and screen is. So well, now it's okay, no, madam? Over to you, sir. No, yes, sir. Clear, no. Yes, sir. Your voice is clear, sir. Over to you, sir. So very uh, good evening to all uh, dear doctors and. Uh, this is the opportunity mainly uh, this is the opportunity mainly we are giving the ayurveda map and uh, dr alikutis hospital everyone they are promoting the doctors to gain the knowledge and we all are knowing we are not uh, having proper knowledge for treating this type of patient wherever this type of discussion is going on, we have to start uh, studying from basic level. So for uh, promoting uh, or discussion, Tadvidya Sambhashana is mainly, uh, a, our aim is mainly like that. Okay, I hope everyone will utilize this in future and the continuing medical education like that. Okay, so I think all uh, doctors are practitioners. Being a practitioner, we should understand the uh, cause and as well as what are all the uh, other, uh, whether it is primary or secondary, whether it is treatable or not, the, how we can diagnose, the, how we can do the examination, all those things we will discuss. Okay, we'll start with the uh, introduction. And this is the before starting the introduction of the definition and examination, all those things. And when uh, we are doing the Siryavyada to the patient, at that time only we will think where is vein, whether it is a superficial vein or deep vein, whether it is artery or nerves, etc. If it is in the properly dilated vein, then it is easy to uh, uh, do the uh, Siryavyada. But in all cases, we can't do this type of, we, we can't uh, analyze whether it is a uh, superficial vein or deep veins or whether patient is having a, any other systemic illness. So all those things we have bleeding time, clotting time, all those things we have to see. So Puro Karma, Pradhan Karma, Paschat Karma, everything we'll discuss. And whenever you are getting the question, you have to put it in a chat box. Volume is very low. Whether my volume is very low, is it okay? No, sir. It's okay. 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 I think that doctor uh, range is very low. That it may be. At the veins of lower limb, at that time only we will think where is superficial vein and uh, superficial and as well as deep veins, long saphenous vein, very short saphenous vein. Okay. When we are going to do at that time. So now we are, we are starting with the long saphenous firm where the common iliac and as well as the Here, femoral, uh, etc. Then, when it is going long saphenous vein, it's from it is starting from here and this area from the medial part, and it is coming to the medial side of the knee joint, and it is joining to the femoral area. And this and here, long and short saphenous vein, it is coming the posterior part, and it is going to the posterior part popliteal area, 
this is the short savannah swain in this picture only you can notice and where the ozonian insertion is going on the way okay mainly and other mechanism patient is a person is a long running person so sports people are and they are also getting this type of because of the uh, blood flow caused by muscle contraction and sometime the muscles will be stricture and it will it will because of that condition uh, because of uh, continuous running for sports people will get this type of uh, varicose vein and long standing people and another condition normal vein it will be the flow will be like this if you are seeing this is whether it it will uh, sometime it will go upwards and sometime it will, it will come downwards so these are all the basic idea if you should have okay coming to the introduction you all are knowing the varicose vein what is varicose vein the vein is dilated and one mistake we usually will do whenever you are writing the prescription or wherever it is and you should think about varicose not a varicose vein varicose vein varicose vein v a r i so the spelling you have to notice always okay the varicose vein when it is dilated and tortuous that is a vein and where all the what all the area you you can see other area also the vein are various places in the body other places all the tendons varicose it is it may be spermatic uh, veins and esophageal veins and hemorrhoidal veins usually we are getting the piles patient complaints of piles they will they, they will only tell you yeah, are having piles or whether it is a bleeding piles or whatever it is so these are all all the uh, dilated veins which is coming veins of the lower limb that is varicose vein it is coming hemorrhoidal veins superficial and uh, and uh, other deep veins it is coming in the lower limb and uh, hemorrhoidal veins and spermatic veins and uh, esophageal veins these are all the uh, dilated veins we can see not only in the uh, lower limb other place also varicose it is we can see and causes it occurs commonly in those who work at demand long standing for long hours if uh, the ladies uh, working or police people they are standing so many are the long standing people and one point you have to notice in young age group congenital arterial venous fistula may be cause for the varicose vein so this kindly note this point younger age group congenital arterial venous fistula may be the cause of varicose so why patient is having varicose vein that is very very important coming to the classification of varicose vein we all are knowing varicose vein patient is coming we are doing jalogava charna and uh, dhara lepha and internal medication and siravetha all those things we are not at all seeing whether it is a long saphenous vein or short saphenous vein or whether it is a due to uh, perforator incompetence we are not sometime we are not sending the patient for the uh, uh, examination as well as for the investigation like a doppler vein study okay so all those things after this class you have to start uh, doing the habit of the examinations and investigation of these all those things okay and perforator vein what are the perforators they are the veins connect superficial to deep vein that is nothing but in varial level that is a perforator veins you can see in the angle perforator and lower leg perforator and uh, gastrocnemius uh, gastrocnemius perforator mid thigh perforator and this perforators this while seeing this picture only you can make out where all, where all the area what all the area the perforator is coming coming to the classification and thread veins reticular veins varicose vein combination of all these above three we are getting and classification mainly and clinical science 0 to 6 degree and what are the picture everything is there while seeing the picture only you can make out asymptomatic and symptomatic patient may complain of pain or sometimes in the patient it will be only dilated veins so so many patients we will get some people are treating to the patient an etiological classification congenital primary and secondary when patient is coming you are asked we are not some people are uh, doctors are not asking whether uh, why it is coming and uh, we are not rule out we are not supposed to rule out whether it is a primary or secondary or congenital anatomical distribution superficial and deep and per perforated just now we already told three one a pathophysiological dysfunction and what are the causes etiology of varicose vein more common in lower limb due to direct posture in long standing persons primary varicosities and secondary varicosities we can take it as a primary first we will can discussion uh, through the primary varicosities congenital incompetence of the particular valves or absence of valve that is nothing but primary varicosities weakness or wasting of the muscles and stretching of the deep fascia these are all the primary varicosities and coming to the secondary varicosities 
डॉक्टर इज इट इज इट ऑडिबल नो यस यस इट्स ऑडिबल यू कैन कंटिन्यू secondary varicosities what are the secondary i don't know how many of you are doing uh, whether uh, differentiating whether it is a primary or secondary this is very important because before starting the treatment you should concentrate whether it is primary or secondary and usually whatever the medicines we are giving uh, in the internal uh, obstruction is there in the intra abdominal obstruction is there that also to reduce the uh, intra abdominal uh, obstruction we are giving the chidvilla the kashaya all those things so more before uh, you are prescribed in the medicine if you are having proper idea then it is easy to treat and within one week only you will get good result recurrent thrombophlebitis what is thrombophlebitis there is inflammation of the peripheral veins and occupational and obstruction to the venous return it is not coming to the upwards and in pregnancy and deep vein thrombosis usually we are getting in pregnancy uh, varicose vein as well as in the uh, after the delivery also we are getting the because of continuous uh, training and we are getting the hemorrhoidal dilatation varicosities in the hemorrhoidal area that is nothing but piles and deep vein thrombosis signs and symptoms dragging pain we are getting and heaviness in the legs night time cramps usually at late night edema in the feet and concentrate on the edema patient is coming in front of you we may take swelling different reasons some patient is uh, obese he can't trace and another condition patient is in uh, lean if it is uh, edema is there we can notice compare with the sound one also you have to compare both like whether it is patient is having both leg swelling and whether it is reducing after taking rest and another uh, cond- condition any knee snake bite mark or any other vesha involvement is there or any involvement of internal organs like uh, you know, heart and uh, then kidney liver all those things any pathology is there and any injuries there particular angle joint this all the things you have to ask to the patient and differentiate it because if it is the vein is dilated and tortuous and we can easily differentiate or you can easily diagnose this is because of the varicose vein okay and discoloration and ulceration in the feet and painful walk these are all the uh, signs and symptoms you can see in the varicose and signs visible dilateral veins in the leg with pain and distress and nocturnal cramps feeling of the heaviness pedal edema pigmentation dermatitis i think these all the lakshanas we are all are familiar but some area we are not concentrating that's why i took this all this lakshanas pedal edema and pigmentation dermatitis ulceration some people will dermatitis it will be uh, itching is there we may think of oh, any uh, any skin diseases or any allergic condition we may suspect okay so you have to see whether patient is having any uh, uh, this varicose vein uh, involvement is tenderness restricted angle joint movement bleeding thickening of uh, and uh, tibia of face due to peri or it is and positive uh, cup impulse in the saphenous femoral junction all those examination we can discuss okay large varicosity in the groin which become visible and prominent on cupping and coming to the gradings and 0 to 6 degree if you are seeing this picture itself the zero and uh, grade 1 and grade 2 how it is and grade 3 how it is and grade 4 5 and 6 and this gradings with the no visible or palpable sign of venous diseases reticular veins are malleable player varicose vein we can second degree and grade 3 uh, is the edema with the, without skin changes that is a, a grade 3 and skin changes with like pigmentation and eczema grade 4 you can see eczema you likewise you can treat and skin changes along with the healed ulcer this is it and the fourth one is and sixth one is skin changes with the active ulcer usually the patient nowadays we are getting patient is having varicose vein they will go definitely first in allopathic doctor because they are thinking we ayurvedic doctors are not knowing about the veins or arteries or nerves etc so people will go behind allopathic doctor even last time i have this one experience that's why i told here one of my relative she went uh, allopathic doctor and they consulted because they are thinking we are doing, we are knowing only the ayurvedic people are knowing only the massage and whatever the other treatment people are not aware of we are knowing this type of disease they are not aware of this i don't know other uh, your area that people are aware of this 
but in uh, some area they are completely concentrating to the ayurveda and their uh, patient is coming in front of ayurvedic practitioners when patient is coming in front of you you have to you should suppose to examine the patient thoroughly and uh, inform to the patient or and convince to the patient you are knowing about this case and you are knowing the veins nerves etc and in varicose vein you know the gradients etc and if you are not treating you will go for the ulcer all those things you have to uh, explain to the patient okay this is also very important then the last time what happened now that delative went uh, allopathic doctor they did digestion everything and last time they told you will go for the laser therapy if you are performing the laser therapy also you won't get re result then they came to our hospital then we more than 45 minutes we discussed then uh, uh, lastly i told if you are interested more than you can go if you are coming here we'll try our level best definitely this all ulcers will be cured by our treatment so this is the way condition only this when patient is coming this sixth stage then only nowadays patient will come because the people are thinking we are not aware of this so every time when patient is coming in front of you you should give all the uh explanation about the varicose vein what are, if you are not treating it, it will go for the complications for the sense. and causes of the pain cramps venous diseases increased venous wall tension chronic venous hypertension hypoxia and these are all the increased capillary pressure hyper uh, viscosity of red cells platelet hyper aggregation reduction of capillary permeability causing capillary fund dysfunction altered these are all the uh, causes of the pains and cramps in, in the venous disorders coming to the examination part examination when patient is coming in front of you you just examine where is the varicosity and where is enlargement and encroachment of the vein we are writing only this much, this much only sometime we will go for the inspection we are not supposed to do all the patient in the opd at the examination all those things. we didn't have proper time look for the short and uh, long and short saphenous vein or both a case of long saphenous starting from my told already that i see the picture only you can make out from where it is starting and it is going and swelling coming to the localized swelling also due to superficial thrombophlebitis generalized swelling mostly due to dvt you have to differentiate with the dvt and uh, as well as in the thrombophlebitis because there will be hardness on the particular part on the calf muscles we should not supposed to do we should not do any massage on the particular area the pain and swelling is there there is no uh, is in the old area we should do the massage no it's not like that why it is coming that is a mainly the first is diagnosis roga madho parikshade tado anantara vishadam so you have to differentiate with the dvt and uh, in mosis and uh, vias and all those whenever you are excusing the particular calf area and directly patient may go, go for the collapse and they may go for the death, the death it may go for the death also and skin of the limb the in, in inspection all those things we have to inspect and coming to the color plegmatia alba dolens is all those things in coming to the dvt and plegmatia cellular dolens that is it will be uh, red color and it will be hardness all those things it will be a whitish color we can uh, see in the uh, dvt conditions and coming to the another point texture not if the skin is stretched and shiny due to edema that is in dvt it is seen if there is eczema pigmentation of the skin affecting mostly medial aspect of the uh, leg and ulceration mostly seen in the medial aspect of the lower leg it may seen other part also venous ulcer it is, it is if any injury is happened particular area we will get the venous ulcer scars of the previous, uh, previous ulcer or any uh, operation now if there is a loss of hair increase in brittleness of the nail due to chronic and indicating the impending venous gangrene that is also very very important and palpation the aim of palpation is located in opportunities of vein communicate the superficial and the deep vein for the different uh, tests are recommended we all are knowing the brody trendelenburg test we are familiar with this we should uh, raise the patient leg you should tell the patient to raise the leg and after the complete uh, you elevate the leg gently empty the veins after that palpate the saphenous femoral junction ask the patient to stand while standing the pressure and the findings the rapid filling after the thumb releasing and that is a saphenous femoral junction ingobitans rapid filling 
the filling from below upward without releasing thumb the presence of distilling of bitter corporate is still you are suspecting after the examination you can go for the uh, the doppler vein study okay and tourniquet test instead of that putting the thumb you are using the tourniquet and parthis test parthis is emptying the vein as mentioned above the tourniquet is around the thigh and stand the patient up as them to rapidly stand and down their uh, toes filling of the veins indicated deep vein incompetence this is a painful and very rarely used test then short test in standing position tap the lower part of the vein in picture you can notice here one area we are keeping our hand on the saphenous femoral junction and this area we are tapping the long saphenous vein we can feel the pulse on the uh saphenous femoral junction so that is a tap after an impulse we can feel after tapping we can feel the impulse on the saphenous femoral junction that is a short test and prats test and bandage uh, we have to apply on the particular area like 1 2 3 4 you can see and leg from upward and tourniquet saphenous femoral junction release the bandage perforate can see and blow out and uh, morsis cuff impulse test here limb elevated veins is emptied patient asked to cuff at that time expansion impulse on saphenous femoral junction you have to keep the fingers on the saphenous femoral junction and ask the patient to do the cuffing at that time patient feel pain on the particular area and fagans test line of varicosity is marked in this picture you can notice the side where perforator pierces the fascia bulges on standing circular depression on lying down position this area you can see so these are all the tests which you can perform in very host vein differential diagnosis in all the diseases there will be very, uh, differential diagnosis will be there and at that time only we may uh, difficulty we may face difficulty but in a very host vein uh, so if it is uh, enlarged and uh, torches it will be very easy to diagnose and lymphedema av malformation and post orthostatic edema renal and cardiac diseases and hepatic causes these are all the differential uh, diagnosis we can take and coming to the complication we all are knowing the complications of varicose varicose vein while explaining the complication of varicose vein here i would like to uh, give a small first aid if anyone can tell if bleeding is coming with the varicose vein and what will be the first aid put in chat box doctor if any bleeding is there in the varicose it is what we can give as a first aid i'll see elevate the leg crepe bandage so that is also treatment and one main point we are getting this type of patient no patient will tell after the application of even tight bandage also still patient is having uh, bleeding what will do so tablet everyone is explaining gst with the honey and bandages these are all the uh, treatment i am asking about as a first aid so whether it is in the marmakshada whether it is in the bagna sandhi mukta any part of dikshada you got let it flow then dara dara with what compression with what compression is also bandage it is very very nice and ice where is manoj manoj yes manoj bagal manoj bagal ice pack that is a sheet of area cold water cold application wherever the area the bleeding is there in the nose or any part is we should apply the ice pack ice where that is very very nice very very good very good doctor so this is the way we have to understand without any medicine how we can treat this patient how we can convince the patient so suddenly if you are keeping elevate the leg that is a good answer and you should keep the ice pack and do the tight bandage okay these are all the way of practice tambana upaya and chaturvida upaya also is explaining by explained by sushruta that also we will discuss 
and uh, i think this this is the way we should understand and we should uh, part, uh, try to uh, give your answer level by thank you thank you doctors complications of varicose vein hemorrhage and pigmentation and ulceration of dermatitis and venous ulcer angulosis angulosis of angle joint deep vein thrombosis calcification of wall of varicose vein recurrent thrombophlebitis these are all the complication which we are coming across when the we are not treating in the initially an investigation i already told and we have before doing the uh, before we are treating the patient whether the patient is having uh, uh, hemorrhage or any uh, any other uh, we are before we are doing the siraveda all those things you have to give you have to give simple cbc with the esr and rbs or bs or rbs and bleeding time and clotting time and urine purity all those things we have to uh rule up before you are doing any treatment and you can send the patient for uh, this one uh, venous doppler study okay and to find out the dvt and that what you are suspecting that you are right on the and the patient complains and what you are suspecting uh, is there any varicose vein or dvt that also you have to uh, mention particular when you are writing the uh, chief come after writing the chief complaint then they will uh, go through in all the direction and after the examination in investigation you can confirm that uh, it is a varicose vein and can this type of varicose vein you can treat it as a shamana uh, ushadi if it is not responding then you can go for the siraveda uh, if stasis long stasis of blood is there all those things i will we can discuss coming slides and to find out the saphana femoral and saphana femoral uh, popliteal incompetence to find out the perforator incompetence in the plus scan it highly reduces you you could scan imagine techniques coming to the ayurvedic part we all are ayurveda doctors and we are not discussing ayurveda such a, a wonderful science and definition of siraj granthi and there is a person who are weak indulging in susudha it is explains person who are weak indulging in more physical exercise vada get aggravated invades the network veins and squeezes and it will constrict the vein and dies up and gives rise to elevated and Uh, quick developing round swelling of the vein that is not but sirajigandhi and it is difficult to cure if it becomes painful and moves from place to place that which is not moving a begin size that suited in the vital spot even though these are painless and should be rejected they are acharya is telling like that but on the condition of the patient you can decide on the uh, after the get, gaining the knowledge you should decide on the basis of yukti you can decide the treatment also coming to the siraveda siraveda how the basti is in the uh, vada vyadi likewise siraveda is designed the half of the treatment mentioned in the shalya tantra in shalya tantra so many things are there they told a half part in marma is a half part of shalya tantra and here siraveda is also a half part of shalya tantra so many are there shalya is a whole part is covered and we should uh, when when you are uh, referring the textbook you will get the idea siraveda the importance of rectum siraveda stitil sardham shalya tantra prakriti dha and importance of rectum okshana tok dosha there will be vitiation of tok indulging bloodletting and uh, will not patient is not if you are doing the uh, any uh, regular habit of blood uh, removing bloodletting patient won't suffer from skin diseases any shofar yoga and grandhi yoga and vitiated blood vitiated diseases coming to the contraindication of rectum okshana patient is kandi uh, patient is a low hp and uh, bleeding time and clotting time is not in normal patient is in having uh, diabetes condition all those things we have to see the following condition bloodletting should be avoided sarvanga shopa is there massive sarvanga shopa it may come because of the uh, pandu roga that is anemic condition also emaciation due to amla food shodha pandu and arsha arsha is not in the arsha's condition because of the uh, bleeding per rectum and patient will be in anemic condition udara roga garbhini shodha these all the conditions should not supposed to do the rectum okshana mada murcha kasa retention of urine feces flatus hot water hot weather and after excessive fermentation or other these are all the other contraindication which is told by sushruta sutra 14 chapter 
and indications of rectum motion we all are knowing where all the area sravya vidra deha panchabavedu sarvajat de kushtani vayu sarvaja shapo vishe de gasha dasha five types of vidra disease skin diseases pain due to vada localized inflammation edema and diseases of the ear lobes elephant diseases neoplasm so like these are all the way the stages and all those things explained by susuda and general method of rectum motion coming to the rectum motion purva karma pradhana karma paschat karma whenever we are performing any procedure it will be purva karma pradhana karma and paschat karma we should make ready all the medicines and what are the purva karma we should perform to the patient and what are the purva karma pradhana karma and paschat karma also these are all the things and patient uh, doctor and medicines and attendant everyone should be in the uh, proper channel and get it ready for everything before we are doing and one more thing you have to no, uh, notice if any complication is coming across that also make it ready the patient is having painting is there how we can uh, manage that case or any patient is having more pain is there or fear is there how we can uh, convince the patient all those uh, should have this type of idea ayavagu was given to the patient after one hour abhyanga and murchita tilalaila nadi sweda was should be performed and whenever we are performing this type of uh, siraveda we should apply the oil from the origin of the vein from the especially in the uh, femoral vein lower limb from the so, uh, supine position prone position we, could, we should made made the patient to lie down and do the application of oil from down to upwards and after that you should go for the uh, usually is spasm is there in the muscle spasm is there in the uh, we should apply the do the dhara any panchavali kalakashaya dhara or dhanyamla dhara simple uh, shida virya and ukshna virya and samishtha dhara also we can perform and pradhana karma tourniquet okay, was tied above and site of sira with the rectum motion was carried out using the kudarika shastra all uh, video i am having with the explanation we can this uh, we can uh, explain all the first uh, pradhana karma and paschat karma after the complete stoppage of bleeding the loose bandage was done with the wet sterile cotton pad and patient was advised to have a chira along with the guda legu aahara advised to the patient and patient should not keep their leg downwards should be elevated can blood donation be considered as a rectum motion of blood donation uh, deepak gupta doctor difference between uh, doppler vein doppler vein usually i i am sending only the venous dopplers duplex uh, scan i am not sending that it may uh, the venous doppler the advance we will get the complication case also we can send usually i am sending only doppler venous study if we are suspecting the arterial also that i am writing the Uh, double uh, arterio and venous venous study both i will write and uh, can blood donation be considered as a rectum motion as per my knowledge it is it is entirely different because uh, the blood donation we are uh, taking as a blood but it can pure blood will come and uh, here rectum motion a different way in uh, jalauga vicharana we are doing all that is also rectum motion and uh, but the because of that hirudin is present in that mouth then it is entering in the uh, blood stream and it is coming to the venous and there will be uh, the blockage we can remove by doing that type of work. so we will get the the stasis of blood is there that also we can remove and we can do the circulation you can improve the by doing this type of jalauga vicharana we can improve our circulation also arterial and venous doppler so when we, when you are suspecting any arterial involvement also is there then you can uh, write the arterial and as well as venous okay and after the stoppage of bleeding loose bandage in guda uh, and lego ahara you should advise to the patient and coming to the the slide is changing no now is it okay ah yes doctor yes quantity of blood in rectum motion sometimes we may uh, suspect very little quantity some people will take more quantity patient will go for painting and it may go for the uh, collapse also patient may go for death also it may happen 
Balino Bahudu Shishavahasthasya Sharirinaha Param Pramana. That is Sushruta has explained. Patient is healthy, has predominant dosha and is an adult in spite of amount should not be exceed one prastha and is the amount of blood to be drained in the healthy person. Now the quantity is also determined based on the residual force of the, uh, of the patient. The patient in the lowest residual force in one kodava that is 13.5 kola. In the medium patient, it is uh, about uh, one prasta, half prasta. In work mentioning and that the transfusion of medicine for a healthy person is one sitting maximum physiological amount 350 ml and second sitting is not uh, usually we are doing after six months. But in emergency case, a very little quantity will take after uh, two to three weeks or to one after one month also we are performing on the uh, courage of the or on the yukti of the body you can decide. Usually, the stasis of the blood is there once you are removing and it will be, uh, we can extend next sitting on after six months also. And Samik Rekta Visravana Lekshana and lightness in the body, reduction in the uh, disease frequency, pain reduce and sensual pressure. If elongated and tortuous vein is there, if you are doing the Siravidya to Kudarika Shastra, after the removal of the blood, suddenly we will get we can through the inspection itself you can notice the that elongated and tortuous vein will, will be uh, that it will be suppressed and if you are asking to the patient the election of lightness in the body the pain is reduced he will feel lightness of the particular legs he will tell like that okay and uh, inadequate drainage of the blood itching edema burning sensation redness inflammation all those things we can notice Management of inadequate recta motion. If you didn't properly, uh, if you did properly, you will get all those things. If you are not performing uh, perfectly and the patient will complain of all this uh, difficulty and inadequate strava increase of the flow, inadequate and if the blood does not flow due to any reason. And if a patient is not applying for one week, uh, application of oil or else any uh, other application uh, any dara is not performing then you won't get proper result when you are performing the siraveta and still patient is having this type of inadequate blood flow is there you tell the patient to advise you advise the patient to do application of oil especially pinda daila sajaradi daila all those things from low uh, that is the dorsum of the foot to the uh, medial part of the medial malleolus and medial and medial part of the knee and uh, femoral so that the same way posterior part also from down to upwards applications of oil then afterwards the patient can take hot water bath also if patient is coming in your hospital you can cure the dara with panjol kalakashaya dara or else you can apply the any dhanya amla dara, any, any, I told already that this or the dara. After doing this dara, the muscle relaxation will come. Then if you are performing the siraveda, definitely will, the quantity, sufficient quantity blood will come. Okay. And uh, haridra, these are all the medicines you can pour and mix it with the more quantity of salt and should be rubbed on the particular part of the wound and by this, the blood flow will out properly. And whenever you are doing the Siraveta or any procedure, usually the Puro Garma, Snehana, Svetana. Okay. Four method to stop the bleeding. Usually we all are knowing Sandana, Skandana, Pajana and Dahana. Okay. Investigation before doing the procedure, that is Siraveta, HP, RBS, CTPT, HIV and HBSAG. I forgot to tell you HIV and HBSAG. That also very much needed in the present era. And if required, GoPro study and another investigation also you can advise. Coming to the selection of the patient. We have to select the patient and inclusion criteria. Patient is in age between around 16 to 70 years of either any male or female patient is suffering from primary varicose vein. That, that is also inclusion criteria. Should not be in the secondary. Patient with Siraj Grandi, varicose vein in the lower limb only. These are all the inclusion criteria. Should include uh, this criteria. If it is uh, 
patient is in diabetic anemic all those things we should exclude the while selecting the patient for the sira veda we should exclude all the this type of patient in other systemic diseases patient with hemophilia coagulant bleeding disease diseases varicosity associated with complication like deep vein thrombosis calcification and venous ulcer and congenital varicose vein in pregnancy these are all the condition we should uh, do the exclusion criteria and this materials usually this uh, instrument uh, this is a small instrument in practically we are using you can take it as a artery uh, curved artery in uh, just uh, tip of that curved artery you can keep a blunt small blade and you have to cover with the paper plaster and you can use as a kudarika shastra okay and this material ounce glass and cream bandage should uh, do the tie on the this uh, uh, just where the knee joint is coming no that area we should cover and the sterile gloves kidney dry paper plaster everything should be uh, usually before the procedure with this spirit we can use apply, uh, just rubbing on the particular area should be a, a septic precaution this instrument and the course pad everything you should make it ready okay this is material used in adi swetha yandra all those things we are using and tourniquet you should uh, by using this kidney dry everything this all the purva karma materials and you should do the purva karma as well as the materials also keep, uh, keep it ready before you are performing your procedure and maximum torches area was selected for the sira veda okay so after seeing this video you, you can notice uh, you can make out very simple procedure and just we are uh, this we are tapping we are keeping the kudarika shastra i told the curved artery just uh, one curved string we are keeping over that area and we are tapping the blood is coming oozing now you can notice one thing i want to tell you after seeing this video if you are next day onwards you are tapping without the hands on training and without the knowledge of proper uh, uh, experience if you are doing your vein will be cut the or patient vein will be cut okay so that's also please note that okay and watch this video hello hello ha adha adha parana parana ha pani indale doctor do control 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 so the blood is coming oozing we are measuring with the jar you can see the how beautifully the blood is coming from the particular area and very simple method also is there that after this video i will show you so when the flow is very low you can uh, see when the flow is very slow and you can remove the that tourniquet 
which is kept on the uh, knee joint just below the knee joint slowly it is going to stop patient in the standing position and just you have to make a small uh, bowl shape of one cloth it should be kept in the arch of the foot to get the pressing and venous uh, su supply also will get more and patient should be in standing position and uh, before that patient you are doing you can give any draksha patient is not in the diabetic usually uh, diabetic patient we are not taking and draksha rishta you can give or draksha dikasha you can give or uh, one glass of water also and you can cover the patient eyes if patient is seeing this blood he may or she may faint and after that you have to make the patient lie down and do the tight bandage on particular area and should be leg should be elevated okay and before and after also see the pulse and bp temperature everything and after that also you have to see okay and another video you can these are all the steps you have to tie the tourniquet torches vein you can see we are this area we are doing this is, these are all the steps you can notice and another video this is a 18 mm needle you have to trace the veins and and after piercing the particular vein you have to keep any kidney tray This when we are performing this type of Sriya Veda, whether it is Kudarika Shastra or else in the small 18 mm needle, patient should be in standing position. Okay, let me check what all the questions is coming from chat box. How much ML blood is that? Around 350. Can you share? Yes, I shared now already. And why excuse diabetes mellitus? Because once if you are doing any injury, particular injury, it may go for the ulceration. Okay. I think Muthu uh, Vijay Suri, you got the answer. Can we do Siraveda in patient taking medicine like warfin and aspirin? No, this is also a very good question. When, whenever you are performing the Siraveda, you should ask the patient whether the patient is having you are taking any aspirin. Usually patient is taking aspirin, etc. medicines, any systemic illness like diabetes, medicine, heart diseases, kidney, etc. Uh, any other systemic illness is there, then only they will take. So initially exclusion criteria itself I told. So you can uh, ask the patient whether patient is having any other diseases. Can you show Kodarika Yandra slide once again? Okay, I'll show. This is the Kudariga Shastra. You can, uh, one of my students, uh, she did a thesis on that. Uh, her guide and, and they made this type of Kudariga Shastra. In practically, you can make a artery, uh, artery forceps and in uh, front you can keep a small blunt, uh, any uh, curved uh, blade also you can keep and you have to cover with the paper plaster and you can do the tapping on that. Why excuse diabetes for Siravada? Siravada, I told one uh, in diabetes mellus, if you are doing, we are doing the Kudarika Shastra and the, you are doing on the veins, that veins will be good. Next time it, it may go for the ulceration. Can a varicose vein patient do? Can a varicose vein patient do? Treadmill. 
treadmill uh, patient is not having any problem he can but usually the patient is having uh, improper circulation we are making a patient to uh, do the the stasis of blood is uh, why doing this sira veda the stasis of blood will be released action of sira uh, sira veda everything we can discuss in the last slide the coming the discussion part and uh, patient is not in suffering from any other problem he can walk and he can do treadmill but uh, the problem is there in uh, treadmill the it is not in the minimum speed it will go for that so the circulation will go come uh, going in upward and downward direction it will be sometime the patient will go for the complications please inform about the jalauga application a role of rectum motion of leech application in siraveda it is very highly uh, highly re result oriented that whenever you are performing the sira leech applications so when the stasis of blood is more then if you are doing the siraveda less less quantity of blood we are getting but uh, circulation will improve when you are doing the because of that hirudin content is there and uh, when you are performing the siraveda there is no other <clears throat> uh medicine is coming inside the stasis of blood will be released the action everything we can discuss in the uh, discussion slide okay so that kedan kumar uh, doctor got uh, correct answer with what did you puncture doctor that is i told already that um, vein blade we can keep that particular area can we use needle instead of kudariga it i already shown in zero grade how we can treat siraveda is possible the medicine only medicines we i will explain how much blood is that already answered it can be butterfly needle butterfly needle also we can use in siraveda but the problem is butterfly needle when you are keeping the little amount of blood is coming and it will get suddenly uh, stuck because of that clotting at that time you have to take a 5 ml syringe and once again you have to remove that and clean it properly once again you have to put it so butterfly is very easy to practice but because of whenever you are uh, doing the sira veda we will get very less quantity did this just management of varicose how we can completely cure it no we can't cure completely because this is mainly the we can the on the basis of the grading only we can treat it so if it is in the uh, initial level we can control it by medicines and other yogasana sarvangasana everything we can prevent the recurrence by doing the uh, sarvangasana and patient should apply the oil from down to upwards and uh, it should not it should not be uh, more any other uh, complications the secondary side told the pregnancy all those things while well, that at time also intra pressure abdominal pressure also that patient should uh, maintain please explain the kudariga shastra once again okay that slides everything i'll share so that you can when how much time you can you can see can we use madifala rasayana and paschat karma madifala rasayana you can use but i am not using all those medicines very simple medicines we are using okay and can we take a diabetic patient with the control uh, okay if it is a control based you can in kidney also we are telling in ayurveda when basti uh, kidney also in uh, diabetes mellitus it is very difficult but steam bath also people are doing that is your youth you can use when the next session after this session rectum moksha when will be next session after one session of rectum moksha diabetes control the those needle 18 18 mm need that needle i pierced that that is 18 mm okay then that is a small a big one and it will be should be uh, whenever you are piercing that particular vein should be in proper precaution any precaution while disposing the blood uh, how to dispose that everything uh, you can uh, surgically how they are doing you can use in your area most of very close patients suffering from diabetes have precaution to be taken that precaution mainly the it should not be any ulceration of the medial malleolus any part because it will take more time to heal uh, can we use jaloga rectum oshana 
or we jaloga or uh, for rectum or jaloga definitely we can use but you should not keep any jaloga to the uh, mouth of the uh, the any any vein because once you are uh, biting the jaloga on the veins and definitely the blood will come because of that erudin and next day also a little quantity of blood will come if it is bitten in the uh, vein it won't heal pro properly it may go for the ulcer also okay so we are uh, not uh, applying on the veins instead of uh, sthanika rakta mokshana can we do uh, sarvadehi rakta mokshana instead of sthanika rakta mokshana can we do sarvadehi rakta mokshana which is more beneficial so how we can do siravada siravada we are doing in the siraj granthi mainly because the stasis of blood is there after the explanation of last slide you will came to know uh, the importance of that okay and which oil, oil for daily abhinga we can uh, should advise penda daila usually the patient is in uh, siravada we can uh, patient is in siraj granthi we can advise that is very cause vein is there we can advise or sajaradi daila how frequently it should be done siravada um, permanent for permanent cure it, it won't get when the when patient is suffering from the sira uh, varicose vein can we apply leech on vein no stop blood no it was already told hana i didn't get that hana when we will advise the venous doppler and arterial doppler i told if arterial involvement is there uh, then you can uh, advise the art arterial varicose vein etc is there you can advise the uh, venous only uh, deep vein thrombosis and uh, this one uh, varicose vein is there you can advise the uh, only venous doppler study if other than that you can advise the arterial what should be the frequency of rectum mokshana frequency of rectum mokshana is already told can we explain frequency means the duration you are asking duration i told already once we did after 6 month only we are performing and uh, can you explain about the jalauga avacharana in varicose vein our topic is mainly in varicose siraj uh, varicose vein uh, this siraj grandi siraveda Hmm. After time permits, we'll explain. Okay. After how many days? Because it need more time. Jala ga jana. After how many days we need to repeat the rectum mokshana? I told already. After six months. How much times nehana swedana should be done for the rectum mokshana? So when patient is it is a long condition, then you can perform the uh, anju. We can perform the one week after one week. up to one week you can perform the snehana swedana whether you are applying the snehana and you can apply the dara in patient is in uh, home itself they are uh, apply the dara or hot water bath also they can take while application of uh, if patient is in hospital admitted they can cure any panchal kalaka shaya dara like that or in opd basis also we can do okay and is there any role of siraveda in ischemic heart disease siraveda in a ischemic heart disease in heart disease condition also i didn't perform the any patient so i couldn't and sir prefer preferable diet please everything i will explain last slide which medicines to be advised if siraveda is not indicated that also i will explain i want i want say rectum mokshana spider no com, uh, complaints treatment oh, okay doctor uh, we can move forward okay if varicose vein uh, swollen up before 6 month can it yes if on the basis of the uh, uh, according to the vaidya yukti we can perform okay come I mean, these are all the uh, videos and complications of the excessive rectum mokshana and these are all the uh, siraveda when puncture is done uh, during the time of uh, summer season sudation ex excessive uh, excess cutting is very much done in ignorant unskilled and inexperienced person the blood flows out in great quantity then it will be produces headache blindness and thimira dadukshaya convulsions burning sensation keep in mind convulsions and dadukshaya all those things will happen burning sensation hemiplegia also we make occur 
monoplegia cup dyspnea cup anemia and anemia tobacco pod so three things we can dadukshaya convulsions and anemia and it may go for that also these three to four points you can notice notice okay and patya after rectum oxygen the patient is provided with a soft diet is neither hot or nor cold and hot food raise the body temperature and cause excessive blood flow and cold meal cause mandakini and soft and acne deep uh, deepaka of food ideal after rectum oxygen and acne should be protected by means it means that body temperature should be remained in normalcy and always after this uh, removal of uh, blood or sira veda patient should take very light uh, food and should be in the should not be in the hot coming to the discussion part so this is very interesting because how it is acting everyone is having same question why the patient not not in our uh, area also you just uh, think about from the patient side in the disease siraj grandi when vitiated factor vada and recta by doing this stagnant vitiated recta gets drained out which will help to retain the chalaguna of vada and another point point kudarika shastra is mentioned in vedana of siras which are situated over the asti pradesha if just above the asti pradesha we are tapping by removing the stagnated stagnant vitiated blood that had caused by sangha it will be sangha obstruction a siraveda reduces the intravascular pressure it will reduces by intravascular pressure and volume hence relieving the shula and shoda so keep in mind always this one point by removing the stagnant vitiated blood that had caused by sangha and siraveda will reduces intravascular pressure and volume hence relieving the shula and shoda siraveda by kudarika shastra by using the siraveda we are doing kudarika shastra drains large quantity amount of blood from more tortuous area in the single attempt whenever you are doing one tapping and the large area tortuous area will get more quantity of vitiated blood we can remove in the single attempt so if you are performing the small uh, butterfly needle it will be very less quantity we are getting even though you are punctured in the uh, vitiated area and tortuous area because the, the blood is coming in small uh, area no and if you are taking with the 18 mm we'll get this type of uh, quantity also okay and since the stagnant blood is drained out the breakage of rbc get reduced and which in red, uh, turn reduce the pigmentation and itching over the particular part already told after this siraveda patient definitely will tell i am feeling lightness on the particular part if patient is having severe pain he will tell within short duration pain is reduced and another point if the uh, the tortuous vein is there or elongated vein is there that also will sub subside it will uh, the elongated elongated veins and uh, tortuous area it will be reduces within short duration even after the uh whether you uh, remove little quantity also within within short duration it will uh, reduce okay the vitiated vada in siras causes sira agunjana the dilation of the veins and stimulate release of the p substance and which get collects in the smooth muscles of the blood vessels and cause pain after doing the sira veda this is removed from the blood thus get gas uh, gives relief of the pain and vada shamana is also done by snigdha ahara and which given the time of pachat karma and uh, conclusion before the conclusion i want to tell you this one thing this i told initially one of our relative came and she came with this ulceration and this type of presentation up to this time she didn't come for a single consultation for in ayurveda people are thinking if you are perform uh, going behind the ayurveda uh, allopathy within one single visit or uh, uh, twice we are going if they are putting the injection or any any other surgeries it will be completely uh, we can uh, cure it's not like that we can maintain the uh, difficulty and uh, we can control the uh, all other uh, patient signs and symptoms okay so patient came and after this one week you can notice this much changes the wound is not healed 
I told you are diabetic, but patient is in control. I told I will give medicines. Afterwards, we will perform the treatment. I will explain all the treatment protocol here. And before that, I want to explain this Siraveda conclusion. Okay. Siraveda in Sirajagrandi, lower limb, and it is highly effective, but the doctor should be an uh, experienced one. And after seeing the number of patients, and he should be experienced with the uh, surgeon. The incidence of varicose vein is more people, those who are standing in the, uh, their occupation, the long standing, uh, the police, any other workers, and the ladies, and so many other. Siravad is a simple cost effective in OPD procedure. We can uh, give the miraculous uh, effect or result on varicose vein. And coming to the, this are the conclusion. And before that, I want to tell it to the Shamana Ushadis. We didn't explain any, I think one or two Shamana Ushadis we told. This patient I will explain. I given, I didn't start any medicine to heal that wound, that ulcer. I given with the, to give the, reduce the intra abdominal pressure. First I started with the Chiruvila Rikashaya. Two times, 15 ml kashayam, 60 ml lukewarm water, 6 m, 6 pm before food. And Villo the Guliga. Two tablets, one tablet, one uh, zero one with the kashayam. You are getting the point. And another medicine I prescribed, Trifala, three teaspoon, three liter of water. You should boil and filter it and wash the proper, uh, properly two times, morning and evening, that particular area. And another advised uh, viscovas, that is a uh, one uh, tablet from the pattern. And uh, after uh, the, this, all the three to four medicines I given, and this much changes is uh, noticed, then patient was completely happy. Then we started with the continue other medications with like uh, a Shtadi Kashaya, uh, all those things we changed Kaishwara Gugulu and even uh, Biogest, and the uh, uh, radix tablet this all those things we uh, given and i used to give avipatti churma in the night time uh, 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 one teaspoon one half glass of water in the night time after food and uh, continued with uh, start continued with the trifala for the wash from the particular area and after one month we advise the patient uh, to go for the admission we did the abbinga with the pindadaila in the from foot to upward and uh, after that we given panjaval uh, kashaya then uh, this one leech therapy also given good result and before that also with the shamana we got good result if patient is in a diabetes and moreover patient is having ulceration if any Siraveda, we are doing already contrary contraindicated. If we are trying, even though there is no that much stasis of blood, even though Shubhangi raised a hand, tell me, doctor, please unmute and tell me. Dr. Shubhangi, if you wish, you can unmute. So, probably my mistake, she might. So, please continue. Yes. So this uh, Shamana Vishadi, only we got this much relief. And after that, I thought to give Siraveda, but this patient is in diabetic. And moreover, already ulceration is there. If any ulceration is persist, even after this Siraveda, because patient is completely, the mind, patient mind also very, very important. Adyu Rogi Vishagashyo. If patient is in Vishagashyo, we can do any treatment we can advise. And whatever we are telling, this wound is there, small wound, it, 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 it will heal. Then patient will be happy. Then I thought we'll make the control the diabetes. Then after that, we'll perform the Siravada. Already this much result is there. Then this patient is needed to heal the, to improve the circulation. And after that, it will get healed. Then I uh, started uh, three, two uh, leech application just on the uh, foot of the part and just posted a part of this wound here. 
posterior part of the that is uh, wound just below two 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 finger below the wound and after the two sitting of leech therapy and jalauga uh, vacharna patient was completely uh, healed the wound, wound was now completely healed patient is happy and just before the uh, one week of uh, ramzan she uh, once again she told me we will go perform the siraveda or any other leech therapy still a small pain is then i told you should not go for any treatment because patient mind is ultimate any small wound is coming also then patient will start ayurveda we did the ayurveda again the wound is the now patient is completely uh, heal that wound and she is walking she is doing all the good thing before that she used to ap apply the any uh, cream bandage or any uh, uh, socks and she she used to apply and we thought that she can't sleep because the ants will come and pain will more now is not at all, no any other uh, complaint patient can walk any and shubhangi doctor you can you are raising the hand you can unmute and you can talk i am doing this any queries is there you can contact me any time my number is 9496809599 the time is very uh, i think is going to finish any doubt you are getting you can ask me 9496809599 okay so this is the way we can treat and lastly i did this patient with jalauga vacharna because this patient is having diabetes and other con uh, condition and uh, there is no that much stasis, stasis of blood in particular uh, legs and to improve the circulation and uh, to reduce the heal the uh, particular uh, area the small wound is there and only on the aim of that we did okay any other queries is there you can ask Do dr jasul doctor madam divya uh, doctor hello sir yes. thank you sir so it was a really informative session and especially thank you for sharing the video demonstration of sita vetnam uh, doctors if you have any queries you can kindly unmute so there is a question chat box how do we choose the stockings for legs? Please explain. Uh, where we stopped the last? So regarding the diet, diet I think so. Diet, huh? Yeah. Uh, which one is the question? Which one is? So regarding the diet, um, Patti Ahara for Medical Swing. I already told. The slides, everything I will share. You can. See. During the procedure, also, we are advising, even after the, this, also, we are supposed to, patient should not take the uh, non veg, should not take, and uh, hot items also, they should not take. Sir, one more doubt. Usually, patient asks us about any specific diet that they had to follow while taking the medicines for this varicose vein. Because so, are, whatever the medicines we are giving should not be, I told already now, intra uh, the abdominal pressure should not be. The patient should pass uh, feces and urine, everything. If she is there, then it will be. And, and, and one more thing is the roga, uh, this one. Survey uh, Roge Abhi Mandakno. Mandakni also will be there. In Chiruvilla, the Kasham, Chiruvilla Punava, Vakna, Baya, Kananagar, Sainda, Vakuzelam, Buddha, Baganda, Gulma, Hiram, Jetta Rakni, we were the Nashuna, Makni will be increased. Okay. We are giving uh, in Chiruvilla, the Kasham, Sajara, the combination in the uh, this one, uh, Virikos way. How it is acting like this? It will reduce the intra abdominal pressure. Okay. Uh, one more doubt. Can we uh, give uh, right. Sahajaradi Avarti along with Kashaya, Chirivilvadi Kashaya? Hmm. Sahajaradi Avarti, all those things. If the acne are... is correct. Pardon? If the acne is proper, can we give 
സഹജരാതി ആവർത്തി അലോങ്ക് ചിരുവില്ലാതി കഷായ എക്സ്പ്ലൈൻ സോ അഗ്നി ഇസ് ദ മെയിൻ കണ്ടീഷൻ റീസൺ വി ആർ കോൺസെൻട്രേറ്റിംഗ് ദാറ്റ് പെർട്ടിക്കുലർ ഡിസീസ് സ്കിൻ ഇൻവോൾവ്മെന്റ് ഇസ് ദ ദൂഷിത ദൂഷി വിഷ ഇസ് ദർ ദാറ്റ് ഓൾസോ മീൻസ് ഇച്ചിങ് ഇസ് ദർ മോർ വിൽ ഗിവ് ദ വിൽ ആദ് ഗിവ് ഓക്കേ സോ ആഫ്റ്റർ രക്തമോക്ഷ പോസ്റ്റ് കെയർ അഡ്വൈസ് ദെൻ മോസ്റ്റ് ഓഫ് ദി ലേഡീസ് ഗെറ്റ് വെരി കോസ് വെയിൻ ബിക്കോസ് ഓഫ് സ്റ്റാൻഡിംഗ് പൊസിഷൻ വെരി ലൈറ്റ് നോട്ട് ഓൺലി സ്റ്റാൻഡിംഗ് പൊസിഷൻ ഐ ടോൾഡ് ഓൾറെഡി ദ സെക്കൻഡറി ഇറ്റ് മേ കം ഫോർ സെക്കൻഡറി ഓൾസോ last week we got one patient uh, she is uh, uh, having not in the lower leg in the it is in the thigh if you are performing the siraveda uh, whether it is your 18 mm needle so you won't get proper uh, blood so you are uh, whenever you are performing it should be primary then only you will get good results okay and uh, one more uh, one more thing and uh, patient associated with the uh, any uh, intra abdominal problems like uh, any uh fibroid sometimes patient may complains of any uh, cancerous condition in the, in the abdominal condition and so many other if you are searching through the textbook you will get the so many courses okay. so one more doubt regarding that in pregnancy also we get cases like varicosity so in such cases what all management we can do water and medication yeah during the in pregnancy during the pregnancy pregnancy we are advising the on the basis of month we can whether patient can take medicine internally then we can advise the chiruvilladi kashayam gandharvasadi kashay mala obstruction is there gandharvasadi kashay first you can give and after that chiruvilladi kashay also you can give and patient is not uh, in the condition of the taking internal medicines you can apply the external application pinda thaila sajaradi thaila all those things we can apply on the external and a small raising of leg and three bandage uh, leggings all those things we can means that socking all those things we can advise so yes. what kudarika shastra instrument is called in modern language modern language they are kudarika shastra mm, uh, kudarika instead of we are kudarika uh, we are using kudarika shastra but in modern they are not doing any siraveda no? siraveda they are we are doing with the needle only that needle that uh, needle with the curved one two i think 11 or 12 blade we are using in the curved artery and there we are putting that we are making a uh, small blade and up to the tip we are covering with the paper plaster and we are keeping the uh, on the vein particular uh, prominent vein then we are tapping should not after seeing this video you should, no no one should practice because the vein may cut okay so after be, doing you continue sir please after getting the experience and so training you can practice sir yes, after doctor. doing repeated rectamoksha also patient is getting elongated veins after some days what may be the cause uh repeatedly you should not perform because already told we are once we are doing the stasis of blood is there once we did the rakta moksha with the kudarika shastra and after six month only one doctor asked whether a patient is still uh, difficulty is there whether we can perform within short uh, that within six month definitely if we are thinking stasis of blood more is there then you can but once you are doing the so much quantity of blood will come out and the stasis of blood will not be there and after that you have to perform the dara and leech therapy also mm-hmm. in practically i am doing like this then the circulation will improve okay we are not biting the leech biting on the particular uh, veins once we are biting the vein it it won't stop the bleeding okay so you should not supposed to keep on the vein so how is the siraveda sitting done how much gap of days to be taken and when to stop 
that i already told no after 6 months <laughs> sir in a non diabetic early 40s housewife who has first second stage of varicose vein without pain and itching will siraveda help Siravada, I told, the stagnant uh, stasis of the blood is there. If you are patient, patient is having severe pain and the elongated and tortuous is there, if you are doing this Siraveda, definitely patient will get relief, lightness of the particular leg, pain will reduce us, and that tortuous, uh, tor uh, varicosity, that prominence, uh, elongated uh, uh, tortuous will be reduced us after doing all those things. That patient will be happy. Uh, sir, we, please tell the dose of Vilvadi Gulika and Chirvilvadi Kanshaya. Hmm. So, you, I used to give this medicine initially when the patient is having low, low back pain or any other condition. And we used to, I used to give Vilvadi Gulika because patient is taking other long medicines. If any Vesha condition is there, it will reduce us by putting this Vilvadi Gulika. And uh, moreover, itching is there, skin condition also, it will be reduced by putting the Vilvadi Gulika. Some uh, uh, relatives, they, if any disease is there, patient is having fever also. If indigest, because of indigestion, if uh, mixed with the ginger, sarsa and honey, if you are giving, there, there will the uh, acne mandia will be there. Then, Pujangal Udu Undru Vishiga, the Vishujiga Ajirna, Gara Jorescha. Jora is also told in uh, that Palaswadi. So, when you are going behind the Palaswadi, Definitely, the medicines will give a result. Those so, in which? Yeah, it's Chirvila Kashayam. Chirvila Kashayam, two times 15 ml Kashayam, 60 ml Lukon. Initially, I'm giving. And after that, we are selecting Aragudha Kashayam, Mahamajista Kashayam, all those things we are, we should select. Okay. If mother, we should give the Mahatikta Kashayam. Eh? Okay. Chirvila Kashayam, 50, usually Kashayam, 15 ml uh, Kashayam, 60 ml Lukon, water, 6 m, 6 pm before food. And one tablet, two times. If uh, condition is more, you can give two tablet two times. In which condition, Sorry. prachana is indicated in varicose vein. In varicose vein, I am not doing any prachana. If uh, skin involvement, uh, dushi visha is there, means there is an involvement of more uh, particular uh, uh, skin lesion is there involvement, then you can perform the prachana. Radix tablet, which company? I forgot that company. And Viscovas is the acrimate company. Talking, you can advise even after the uh, uh, treatment and moreover, uh, in all the uh, stages we can give, not in the ulcer condition, okay. Sometimes if your patient is putting ulcer condition, there will be severe burning sensation will come. And uh, any other question? Participants, if you wish, you want you can kindly unmute and ask questions regarding the topic. So one more doubt. So if a patient has grade five type of varicose vein because of heel ulcer and all, then how can we prevent an active ulcer formation? How can we prevent? An active ulcer formation, like they came for like prevention of the ulceration. So prevent. already they had the ulcer, already they had an ulcer, it is healed, and they want hmm. to prevent a next ulcer formation. So how can we you manage can, such type of case? Which therapy will give? Hmm. Leech therapy will give good result. When we are applying the leech therapy, the circulation will improve. And one more thing is there, you should not, uh, any wound should not happen, particular medial, usually in the medial malleolus, it is happening the wound. Okay, that's the question. Why the hemia? You can kindly unmute. Uh, sir, like uh, other doctors in Maharashtra, we, uh, there is a method uh, 
that we use nirpana before like 2 3 days before rakta mokshana so you are also you also follow that all madam so rakta mokshan before rakta mokshan na snehapana is given like for 2 3 days na so you follow the same rituals so i use this is a very good question i used to give uh, after snehapana the samik snigdha lakshana we got 3 5 7 then we'll perform the virechana virechana i used to give that is a very good result in the patient is having i the, i forgot to tell that patient in the, i we did the virechana also this 3 days snehapana and after that four days uh, patient should take uh, increase the pitta hara pitta kara ahara and uh, everything at waist then in the fourth day uh, virejana waited okay so whether you are performing the uh, after sneha pana virejana you are performing uh, no like if it's not possible to give virejana even before rakta mokshana like three days uh, sneha pana is given and the like fourth day sneha and vedana is done and evening uh, the, the rakta mokshana is done mm-hmm. that procedure that way I usually used I used to do only this after the sneha pana will perform the uh, virechana then we'll go for the uh, sitting so no two three sitting will be patient is once patient is in admitted he'll perform patient is sometimes patient is having both leg one day we'll go, go for the one leg and another after, after some days one week we'll go for another leg like that okay sir uh, yeah thank you sir it was a nice session very nice session thank, thank you. you is there any other queries any time any queries is there you can ask me if i believe he i will respond so soon if i know or oh, i will give the answer suddenly or else i will ask some other gurus then i will let you know thank you sir for the wonderful session now i invite dr jasul for the conclusion Dr. Jasul, kindly unmute. Ah, yes, uh, thank you, uh, Dr. Uh, Saifuddin Gurukal, for your wonderful session and the explanations. Uh, and uh, thank you for coming to the Anubhava se- uh, series of sessions. And uh, today uh, we have, uh, uh, we had uh, Dr. Rahmatullah, but uh, he's not uh, there now. So uh, I, we, we thank uh, Dr. P. Alikuti's Cortical Ayurveda Pharmacy for uh, sponsoring this program also. And uh, uh, they, we, we, we provide the records later. Okay. And uh, uh, th- thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Dr. Uh, Saifuddin Gurukal. And uh, uh, thank you. If you are interested, we can plan the uh, offline also. That training is at least basic level. That is butterfly needle. and that in 18 mm needle that also we can uh, arrange but with the kudarika shastra we can demonstrate but it is very difficult those are not it started it's very difficult to practice within short duration but uh, other things you can jaloga vacharna and this uh, kudarika shastra uh, this one 18 mm needle and butterfly needle this all those things we can uh, give the uh, one day uh, practical session we can arrange okay if they are interested you okay inform. okay sure 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 uh, we can coordinate <laughs> definitely we can coordinate if if, uh, if more uh, uh, need is there and more need from the participant side we can definitely definitely do okay yes uh, so uh, dr uh, divya uh, can we conclude our uh, Just, uh, yes, uh, uh, Doctor Saifuddin. I uh, think we. Yes. Uh, I think we can have some feedback. Yes, uh, yes. Uh, doctors, yes. kindly, kindly give us a feedback uh, about the session. And Doctor Saifuddin, it was really a wonderful session. Thank you so much. Yes, sir. We can have uh, some feedbacks. Uh, okay, just uh, Andres. thanks for your uh, opportunity uh, dr jasul ayurveda map as well as uh, dr dr p ali kutis and uh, uh, thanks for doctors for the patience here thank you uh, if you wish participants kindly unmute and you can share your feedback about yes, our right. session we can uh, raise the hand and we can unmute
to participants raise hand. Namaskar, sir. Hello, am I audible? Yes, yes. doctor. Ma'am, uh, it was really very wonderful session and uh, all the practical approaches was were very well explained by the sir. And uh, really it will help us a lot in our daily clinical practice. I was also practicing uh, Sira with, with uh, 18 number needle, but now uh, I have got broad spectrum to practice in. I was not practicing in varicose veins. So now I have gained very much confidence. So I will practice in this also. So thank you very much to the whole team and uh, sir for really uh, providing me opportunity to learn from you. Thank you very much. Hello. Hello. Um, sir, that Kutharika Yantra, hey. like, is it available in the market? I just want to, like, uh, or you can just put a small demo, like, uh, how you are seeing, you know, that the plastic uh, to apply it on the tip oh, that, and... It is market available, and usually we are doing with the curved artery, you can take, and I think uh -huh. in 12, uh, we are, you can, the blood, uh, curved, uh, this one, blade, it is available in surgicals. Uh, 11 then, number, 11 number. Okay. That you can keep in the uh, tip of the curved artery. And the tip should be exposed. First of the, all, the. Uh, this okay. Huh. Right. And so the, it, should, the it should not be too deep. Uh, yes, cover with the paper plaster. And that you should keep on the tip, uh, vein. And just for the tapping. Okay. okay. Hmm. The blend area should be exposed. All the uh, curved uh, other. What is there now? They should go inside the artery. Hmm. Okay, okay, sir. Thank you, sir. And sir. I think it's time to wind up. Is there any queries or shall we wind up the session? No problem. Any time you can ask. Dr. Jasul? Yes, if there is any uh, any other queries. Okay, then uh, we can uh, wind up. Okay, over, over to you, Dr. Divya. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, sir. And let's wind up the session. And thank you, dear participants, for your patient listening and your queries. And this Ayurveda map, as well as Dr. Pialikuti's Kotakal Ayurveda Pharmacy, is there to spread the knowledge of fire weather to all thank you thank you all for your patient listening good night thank you sir once again